how many of them do we leave in the rubble? The prince and his kingdom were immeasurably enriched by that act of kindness to a poor orphan. Fraunhofer's discoveries transformed Bavaria from a rural backwater to a technological powerhouse. As he lay dying, the government was desperate to preserve every shred of his precious knowledge about the high technology of optical glass. But it could only be divulged to a person with top security clearance, the director of the Mint. The government kept Fraunhofer's technology for making perfect optical glass a state secret for another hundred years. This would prove to be a major obstacle for someone we'll meet later in our journey. But Fraunhofer would allow no such secrecy where his pure scientific research was concerned. He knew that science requires openness to flourish, and that our understanding of nature belongs to the world. As soon as Fraunhofer discovered the spectral lines, he published everything he knew about them. And the reverberations of his momentous discovery echo still. His spectral lines revealed that the visible cosmos is all made of the same elements. The planets. The stars. The galaxies. We, ourselves, and all of life. The same star stuff.